Hey, uh, welcome to Whiskey and Watches. My name's Logan. A uh, little background since this will be the first video. Um, I've always really loved watches. Um, never really been rich or well off enough to afford super nice watches, but I started gathering some through Watch Gang and uh, past relatives that really got me going. So um, I have about, I would say, eight or nine pieces right now. I just re-upped on Watch Gang to be able to do at least monthly reviews on this channel. Uh, sorry for the setup. I don't have, you know, the cool screen behind me and all that good mics and all that. Yet, um, this is more of a coronavirus. Let's see if people actually watch it. And, um, you know, if we get some followers and some likes, I may purchase some of those pieces of equipment to do better overview watches and reviews on that. Um, since it is whiskey and watches, I do have some Jameson bourbon, <clears throat> or stout edition, sorry, not bourbon, it's an Irish whiskey. I already failed you guys on that one. Um, I'm not going to do cutting, I don't know how to do cutting or any of the editing, so basically what you get is the first take, so there will be mistakes, uh, maybe down the road I might do cuts or whatever, but for now you're going to have to deal with me. So basically a generic over, uh, general overview of it, um, there's really no people who post about like the working man for watches most of the time you're gonna see those high-end or like the micro brand micro brand watches but it's all way out of our price range for the people who actually want a nice watch uh, whether it be for work or for going out and um, <clears throat> basically that's where I'm falling into the mold hopefully is I'll be that middleman and be able to actually discuss fair priced watches uh, that do have good movements and they will uh, woo people um, woo! Uh, when they uh, when they see you wear it um, my go to is more of a tactical style uh, like I was stating with watch gang I was a member with them for about six months before I just took a break from it honestly I didn't I liked all the watches that I was getting um, for the for the good price but I was really getting caught up on the wheel which is actually the watch that I wear all the time basically which is the Armor Light Caliber Series AL1221. So, this is a real good mid range watch for anyone who, you know, needs a tougher watch. Um, gives you a little close up on it. But it's an open face automatic watch, so it still razzles and dazzles a little bit. Um, it does not have a screw down, which is weird because it is water resistant up to. 200 meters um, pretty standard back casing and then I do I kind of go all out with my watch straps so basically all my watches will have a Barton strap which is an actual different company than what the watch strap would be when it comes out of factory um, just super nice I'm a silicone guy I like having it secured to my wrist a lot of people make fun of me because of how tight I do have it to my wrist but I mean it doesn't wobble around and it doesn't irritate me, so I'm fine with it. Um, this watch I've had for about almost a year. Um, it's honestly collected dust for a while because if you do look at it, uh, I'll have a link below. I'll figure out how to do that as well. Um, it comes with a stainless steel bracelet, which is pretty nice, but I'm, like I said, I like a tight, secure fit. So it just kind of got thrown into the, the backdrop of everything with all the watches that I do have. Um, but once I put this silicone strap on, it's probably the lightest watch I've ever worn. Uh, it has sapphire crystal, which if you don't know, that crystal is scratch resistant. Basically, it's almost as tough as a diamond to where you really will have to mess something up to be able to get a scratch or a mark or something on this. Um, going over some of the features on it though. Uh, functions, features, it's gonna have a hacking open heart dial like I showed you. Uh, the movement in it is an NH38 mechanical with 24 joules. I have no clue. It looks nice. It goes around without clicking like your regular analog clocks. Um, there's no battery required, which is nice. I would love automatics or mechanical watches because you don't have to take it in every five years or whatnot to get it redone. You just spin it up and it's good to go. Uh, so like I stated, scratch resistant sapphire and anti-reflective coating. The anti-reflective coating, a lot of big watches will try to sell you on it. Um, it doesn't really do much honestly to me personally the case it's a little bit bigger it's 47 millimeters the thickness though is where it kind of got me 
it's actually not that thick it's only at 13 millimeters uh, the case material itself is carbon fiber reinforced polycarbonate that's super super scientifically sounding but basically just know that it's going to withstand basically anything you chip or throw at it um, case back with stainless steel it's got a universal bezel I've honestly I sometimes use it to keep track of time uh, set up time limits or whatever I need to do with it um, water resistant like I stated 200 200 meters or 660 feet so if you want to go diving you can do it if you want to go snorkeling you can do it. if you just want to swim in a pool you can have this on you uh, bandwidth so this is where I always look up for any watch I buy what's the bandwidth because I always even as soon as I buy it I usually go into bar and watches dot watchbands.com and I'll order up a band before I even get the watch because I know I'm probably gonna to want to swap it out um, so if you kept the stainless steel band it's a black PVD stainless steel uh, the band class is stainless steel with a push button uh, and the weight total is six ounces with that stainless steel strap so I'm probably looking more like four ounces on the wrist right now um, it's a super nice comfortable watch um, I love the minimalist look in a way uh, but it also has those nice features like the open heart and all of that to kind of pull you in and like maybe someone will catch your eye on it so looking back into a little more so you can get a better view it's actually gonna have a gray uh, watch face with the nice open heart if you can zoom in and focus like I said this is just a test run to see if you guys even like my videos but uh, it also has the Swiss made T25 tritium markers so each hour hand right here or hour mark and the hands themselves are going to glow at night and they will never it'll never stop glowing until about I think it's a 10 or 15 year lifespan basically it's gas inside of tubes that glow just kind of like a glow stick um, so you never have to worry about it like I have watches uh, for instance I have a deep blue right here this one doesn't have the tritium tubes it just has the um, luminescent paint on it so all the iron markers and stuff like that they will take in um, sunlight and then when you go into a dark room or something like that it'll glow but only glow for a certain amount of time uh, with this one and then I have a couple others they always glow continuously um, I've heard though horror stories about replacing them they usually cost about as much as the watch does so that's kind of a kicker in the butt on it um, but basically it's kind of the first video a little cap of me um, I'm not gonna go too much into detail about myself or my watches unless you know it really kicks off but I plan on doing at least a monthly for watch gang when I start getting the black tier subscriptions again and then if it does catch and I get at least a couple subscribers or followers I'll actually go into detail with my um, my watch case which is the actual photo you see on my um, on my page so if you want to see more or you know why not you can subscribe or like this video uh, the more support it gets the more I'll be into it um, and usually it'll go a little bit longer I'll discuss more about what kind of watches that I do like compared to what I don't like uh, sit here and drink whiskey and probably look like an idiot in front of you guys but uh, if it does catch well enough, we can do live videos, do discussions. Um, I have everything. I've probably had over 80 watches uh, since I joined Watch Gang last year and then to now. And then, uh, so I've had everything from G-Shocks to Citizens to um, Luminox to Armor Light to Deep Blue, Seiko, Timex. Uh, you name it, I've probably had it at least once if it's in that mid-range watch category. Um, you know, and it's just a fun little thing to do, especially when we're stuck inside right now, um, dealing with this virus that's going around. So with that, I do hope that you're safe and you're in good health. So, um, until next time, I'll cheers you.